episode is going to be how to uh, how well how I clean my boots. How I clean my boots after that walk. Not that bad actually. It's been worse. Got mud on the, the bottoms there. So what we'll do is we'll show you the kit. So I've got the hard scrubbing brush, Granger's, brought from Go Outdoors. I've got a um, a buffing brush, the old one, and then the two polishing brushes. Just get them anywhere, them few polished brushes. And for this exercise, we'll be using Granger's G Wax Natural Bees Wax Traditional Protection. I mean, see, I've had this for ages. <coughs> Just get it open. I've had it for ages and there's still loads left in there. I've done about seven or eight cleans of my boots with that and there's still that much in. So, of course got the bucket. Never without a bucket. This will become apparent. And luckily, got the water supply right here. full of water so normally normally I'd have the laces out if they were really dirty up here like mud everywhere I'd get the laces out but because it's just really on the bottom here it's not too these are not too bad just get like a scraper you know like a pallet knife or something just get this mud off heavy mud off Yeah, not too bad. A bit of sand off the beach. I think the sand sort of the sand's cancelled out the uh, the mud. Get in, get the soles. Oh. Just let it fall in the bucket. Unless you're in a muddy field somewhere. Right. So what you'll do after that is let's get your scrubbing brush. Just wet it up. Get that mud off. I'll speed this bit up. One cleaned off. Do the soles, do the soles because you get bits of stone in there and you need to pick them out. And then it's all nice and clean around there. So then you do the other one. Alright, so once you've got the muck off, all the, um, you know, from around here, in there, get it out from in there. If you get dog muck on your shoes, burn them. You'll never be the same again. They'll never be the same again. Burn them. Or make sure you wear gloves and you're gonna clean it off. If you get the dog muck off with gloves, you don't use your bare hands because it's got all kinds of stuff in it. And just get, you've got to get into the, the grooves, unfortunately. And just make sure you wash everything clean. Right, so before I do this, there is other stuff available as this one Berghaus footwear proofer this is for all suitable for all fabric and leather probably better on your fabric boots that Nick Wax do one as well this one's for leather been used a bit that we just we just dab it on and rub it in and then polish it off so if you've got fabric there is a spray for fabric boots as well that you can get so there's all sorts of different ones, just scan for the ones that work for you. But I like this Granger's wax, it's dead good. So 
So, bit of G wax. So what you do is get your old rag. This is old T-shirt. This get a good bit on. Get a good bit on on your brush, and then you basically just rub it in. What I do is I rub it on like this. This is the this is the bit that gets the most wear on the front there. So just rub it in, get into the rand. You can do it when they're wet. In fact, it's I think it's recommended that you do them when they're wet or damp, because it absorbs better. And you just rub it in. You rub it in until it's all. It gets like a. Like this film sort of finish. So what you're doing is you're basically feeding the leather. And you leave this on really. This it's not gonna they're not gonna buff up to a high polish. What you're doing is giving a protective coating. We want to thin it out so like I mean it'll absorb in a bit and it will go thinner. You just gotta get it on. I lost it. Lost it alright. And then you get into the um, all the little bits that you wouldn't normally see like behind there and in there. Right in. Just think of where the water comes and can seep in, but if it's waterproofed, it just beads off these boots. These, these are about two years old now, and they're just like, if you polish them up, they come up like new. I just got to get it in. Get it in everywhere. All along here. Give it a good, a good old coat. Just carry on like that, all the way around, till you've done the whole thing. So I'll crack on with this, and then uh, we'll come back when they're all covered. Right, so I've got them covered all around. In here, in there, in behind there, anywhere really where there's leather. Getting all the seams and that. So it's a light coat. And basically, I'm just going to let these uh, absorb this for a little while. And then I'll come back and we'll buff them up a bit. Just to get the excess off, you know. So let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna uh I'm just gonna beam back into the living room because it's a bit chilly out here now. So I'll sit back and energize. <laughs> towel on the um on here I would normally do this outside but it started getting really chilly right, I've got my cloth here tea hurt so we've got the brush here this one's been used a bit so what I would normally do is start just do like the the um the wax is sort of absorbed into the boot if you know what I mean which is what you want and then you give it a, a bit of a buff. I have three brushes, right? I've got this one here because this one, when you first do this, it absorbs a lot of the wax into the brush. So that's, this gets a little bit sticky. So you kind of get a very good finish on it. But it's all right for just, you know, taking off the excess. And then I've got another one, which I use, and that, Sort of brings it up a bit. 
just giving it a bit of a shine like so the second brush just gets a bit of a polish on and then the third brush this is the buffing one you use this at the end just lightly you can just do two brushes out you know what I mean I'm just being over cautious here you don't need that one two brushes would be enough one to take the thick off and one to buff so just buff them up like don't have to be perfect either because the wax it just keeps absorbing into the um, into the leather so even if you didn't do this it probably wouldn't make any odds let's do this to make them look a bit cleaner and the water just beads off so they're looking good already and if you want you can just give them the last rub this sort of just gets that excess off like any um, any of the stray hairs off the brushes or out but that's it so you got the, the two there this one's done this one needs finishing so there's the boots all nice ready for the next trip so you know everybody's got their own way of doing things that's just how I do my boots sometimes if they're not um, if they're not dead muddy I need to give them a spray with that stuff I showed before, just give them a little spray over because the wax is already, that'll stay on for a while that wax so just give them a light spray and it just helps the water bead off and in the next video if I go in any water I'll show how it beads off but these boots now are two years old and you know they look exactly the same leather boots never look new they look old out of the box leather boots but they look identical to what they did when I first got them. Nice and clean. So, hopefully that's helpful to some people. Um, if not, well, you've got problems. <laughs> Just joking, man. Right, we'll see you later then.